One of the best things about having a classic wardrobe is that you don't worry about wearing the latest trends. You stick to what you love and what looks good on you, and you know you can rely on these pieces for years to come. In this video, I have five key pieces for spring, and the best thing about it is you probably own some variation of these in your wardrobe. And if you don't, adding one or two of these versatile pieces will work with your existing wardrobe and help to enhance your spring outfits. My first item is of course a blazer. I think that updating our outerwear and shoes, especially in these transitional seasons, can really help to bring our whole outfit into the right season. We have finally entered that time of year when our outerwear can be switched to lighter layers and my blazers are the first to make it out of the wardrobe. Here I've styled it in a slightly dressier way with a silk skirt. And what I really like here is mixing the soft feminine skirt with a more masculine blazer. And I've kept it all simple, neutral and tonal for a really elegant look. A blazer is an item of clothing that will stand the test of time. I don't think I have ever regretted a blazer that I've bought. It's the best item to elevate your everyday looks like I've done here. Worn with a black t-shirt, jeans and boots as an easy one to wear casually but still look put together. The cool tone of this blazer fits in so seamlessly into my wardrobe. It's also in a slightly oversized fit which works well for a casual everyday wardrobe like mine as I think that anything too fitted might look like office wear. If I had to choose one thing to wear for the rest of my life, it would be a pair of jeans. Once you find a cut that works for you, a great pair of jeans will be your best friend. For me, that's a high-waisted straight cut like I have here. They are a wardrobe essential that I always come back to, and white jeans are quintessentially spring. They make the perfect backdrop to so many outfits. Here, I've worn them in a softer, more feminine way with ballet flats and a silk shirt. My white jeans are an essential that holds so many of my outfits together. Here, I've styled them in a tougher way with a leather jacket and boots. This leather jacket has been such a great one for me this spring. I love this slightly distressed vintage look. I love the color of it. The brown is much softer than my other leather jackets that are black. And it's also a really thick, kind of heavy duty leather, which has been great for when the days aren't as warm as you think that they are. And fun fact, these black and white Ray-Ban Wayfarers were the first pair of designer sunglasses I got back when I was 16 years old. These sunglasses have been with me for almost half of my life. I will let you figure out how old I am. I think that loafers are a great transitional shoe for spring and autumn. They are just the perfect in-between, in my opinion. When you are over wearing heavy boots like I am, but you're not quite ready for sandals yet, then loafers are the perfect thing to wear. They look great with crop trousers or jeans. We can start getting our ankles out as the temperature finally reaches those double digits. And what I love about loafers is if you buy the right ones, they can smarten up your outfits, obviously, but still have the same comfort levels as sneakers. So you can wear them with jeans for that kind of smart, casual look. You know me, I am a sucker for an all black outfit. And sometimes when you want to wear all black, it's great to be able to switch up your shoes for something lighter in the spring. And here I'm wearing some of my favorite forever wardrobe pieces. A knit top from Cezanne and a wool blazer as spring in London can be very unpredictable. And again, just playing with masculine and feminine pieces with the masculine and quite serious shoes and blazer and mixing it with the bag, which I think is quite fun and playful and feminine. As we all know, spring isn't always warmth and sunshine. The beauty of spring is that we often don't know what the weather is going to be like. And so on days that we need a little bit of extra warmth, a trench coat goes a long way. If you buy the right piece, it's a coat that will be with you every single year. 
I've had this one for coming up to three years now, so it's no longer in stock, but I have linked some similar ones. My personal preference is something a bit oversized so that I can layer underneath and wear it on milder days as well. What's great about a trench coat is that you don't have to get a classic beige colored one. You can opt for black or navy or khaki if you prefer. The beauty of a trench coat style is that it is the epitome of classic. Mine is in this sort of dark olive color and I'm still able to wear it all the time as the color is still muted enough that it matches with the rest of my wardrobe. Wearing it with other classic pieces like this gives you a look that won't date. And for me, I've realized that outfits that can stand the test of time are my go-to. As you know, I don't incorporate many patterns into my wardrobe, but the one pattern that I do wear a lot of, especially during spring, is a good old fashioned stripe. A striped shirt brings a bit of preppiness that I just love. It is such a spring print to me that bringing it out gives me the hope that warmth is on the way. It makes me happy. And isn't that what style is all about? Wearing things that make us happy? Definitely manifesting bare leg weather with this outfit, but let's not talk about how pale my legs are. <laughs> I'm going to Italy in a few weeks and I'm looking forward to getting a bit of color. I'm wearing one of my favorite striped shirts here from Arquette. It works so well with the trench and ballet flats. I really feel as if a lot of these looks that I've put together in this video could be pulled out every spring. You could wear these five or 10 years from now and still look trendy because you aren't relying on trends and your personal style shines through. I hope you enjoyed these spring essentials. If you fancy sticking around, you can watch this video on screen where I break down more timeless outfits. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.